to body awareness exercises. So these are games to play their dogs to teach them where their bodies are basically, where their front paws are, where their back paws are, and how they can actually use them. A lot of dogs don't naturally have a lot of especially hind and awareness. They're just things that fall along behind them. They aren't really thinking about really using their back end. Uh, in agility though, we do want them to be really conscious of their back feet and to use them to maneuver themselves over obstacles, over jumps, through tunnels, and actually pick up their back feet. Especially um, the two on two off, they have to have a really good awareness. They put their back paws on the contact obstacle and they put their front paws on the ground so they have to know exactly what paws are the back paws and what they should be touching. So we're going to play a lot of uh, body awareness games. These are just four games. Um, I'm going to send you a video that has about 100 body awareness games just, <laughs> just demonstrating them all. If you are so inclined, you can try a few of those too on top of the ones we're going to go over tonight. There are, you can't do too many body awareness games. Like they're just they're they're really fun to play, and the more you do, the more your dog is aware of the body. So the first game we're going to play today is sit pretty. Uh, does anybody here do, do any of these dogs already know how to sit pretty? Just put your hand up if they do. Kind of. Kind of. No sit pretty though here. All right, so I'll, I'll go over how we teach sit pretty. First of all, I'll see if we can actually do a little demo. Oh, break. Oh, sit. Break. Sit. Pretty. Yes. Yeah. Good. And, and Mocha has put in a little paw yeah. in there too because I, I taught him by putting my, on my hand and sometimes he put his paw on my hand. So that's why that paw's there. Pretty. Good. And we're working on putting a verbal, but I wouldn't say it's there yet. Let's see if I can do it. Pretty. Pretty. Yes. Good. So I want to eventually get it just on a verbal. So the way we teach a sit pretty is we get them into a nice little sit and we're going to use a lure to teach them this. We're not going to try shaping it because we would be here forever. So you're going to get a treat between your thumb and your index finger, um, ideally in your right hand so you can use your left hand for clicking. And you're just going to bring it right down to their nose and then you're going to lift up and back. Good. So Mo actually might break that right back into the sit pretty. But the first step you're going to look for is just shifting their weight off their front paws so like Lucy did there a little bit. So they don't even have to lift up completely. Just as long as they are shifting their weight back, you're going to click and then feed them in that position. Good boy. And then they can come back down. Once you do with that, see if you can get them lifting their front paws right off the ground. Takes a long time to build up a a held sit pretty. They have to build up their abs. So practice this a lot and eventually they'll be able to hold it up for maybe five to ten seconds. Also some dogs are built a little a little better for doing sit pretty. Some it's really hard structurally. So just see how your dog finds it. Um, if it's if for some reason their bodies can't do it, we'll go over and maybe adjust a little bit for them. So let's give this a try. <laughs>
You're getting fancy. What? <laughs> yes, that's a boy. Excellent. All right, so to train their back up, what you can do is stand right in front of them, and you're just going to take a treat and tuck it under their chest. If they try to do something like sit her down, just pop them back up again. Oh, you're really... <laughs> Thank you. 